What up, though, Heist Man? The folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, I want to do a review, or well, not a review, uh, an update on the I Am Shauna Ray story. If y'all know who I Am Shauna Ray is, um, I think I did a video probably like a month ago, and it was the headlines was I Am Shauna Ray dating a black guy, and that caught my attention. Was, I was like, yo, why is somebody worried about somebody dating a black guy? But come to find out. It's because she is a 22-year-old woman trapped in an 8-year-old's body. And that caught my attention, man. I'm like, oh, I got to find out more about this, man. Um, she had a, a show to debut, I think, last night on TLC. It's called I Am Shauna Ray. <clears throat> and the one thing I got to say, big shout-out to her family, man. Real talk. Like, um, her mom, her dad, stepdad, sisters. Like, she got a real good support system around her. And I think that's dope, man, because she need it, man. But, um... I don't know if I want to say this is a review. This is like an update because I, when I did the video last time, I was like, yo, I think it's kind of weird that some dude trying to date this girl. And I ain't want to be insensitive about it. What I, what I meant weird by is like the same thing she said. She only get a tra um, creepos, weirdos, and whatever, you know, attracted to her because of the stature of her body. And that's what, it, that's what I was trying to say is like, man, you got to be... You weirdo if you mess with her, man, or try to. But she need love too, so big shout out to her. That's all I wanted to, you know, reiterate or something on my. You know, that's why I wanted to chime in on because I didn't want to make her feel bad or cause it any way, you know, any ways around it. You know, I ain't want to say like, you know, it, it, it's it's weird, man. She three foot ten, yo, like, and not she not weird, but she got a. We call it, she got a, a, she had a tumor on her brain or I think that's what it was. And it messed with her pituitary gland and it caused her to stay at this size, man. But she dope from what I see in the, in the episode, me and my wife, me and my wife was watching it and, um, she just want to do like everybody else, man. She wanted to, she wanted to drink. She wanted to smoke. She wanted to chill, man. And I think she got the right to do that. But like I said, it's, it's good that she have her. Her mom and her dad trying to protect her because they're trying to get her online and date. Not not her mom and dad, but her sisters are trying to get her into dating. And you got to protect her, man, because not only is she vulnerable, you know, for weirdos and stuff like that, because they see her as this certain, like, man, they see her at this certain height and stuff. And they be like, ooh, you know, and but she's small enough for them to just pick up and snatch off, you know, run away with. And I ain't like I said, I ain't want to be insensitive about it by calling it weird because she is a normal person trying to, you know, find love too. Um, I think coming up in pretty couple episodes, this is going to be um, this dude right here trying to date her. And like I said, this man, I don't mean to call it weird. I ain't, I'm not calling her weird. I'm calling it weird that a grown man will try to, you know, be attractive to a person this, you know, size, man. Um, I think she need to, she only 22. I think she just need to, you know, relax, just calm down, chill. Um, she wanting to grow up because her sisters are growing up around her. She sees that she has a sister that's about to be, well, her sister 24 and she's 22 and her sister is engaged to be married and then she's missing out on stuff like that. You know, she don't have to, but she missing out on stuff like that because obviously, you know, but I think, um, I think she's pretty dope. I, I just, like, I kind of feel bad for her in a way. Not that I, we should feel bad for her, but I feel bad for her. Because she never know, you know, if somebody trying to date her just for the love they have for her inside of their heart. Or they doing it for some kind of weird way. Um, She's online. You got to be careful with that. That online dating stuff. Because um, it's another show to come on called Before the 90 Days. And it's another small person on there and this dude right here he just look real extra extra creepy to me man it's like he just trying to get her like like that's on his bucket list like i got to get this little thing man and he's went all the way to russia to see her and i don't know man i just don't i don't like this character man he he bad um me and my wife we were sitting there talking about it and she was like maybe she should try to find somebody her same size and date that had the same i don't want to call it a disease but the same functions that she have. And I was like, maybe not because 
maybe she's not attracted to that, you know? You can't just say, you little, he little, y'all get together. She might want a big buff dude or something, you know, a tall, striking, barrel-chested man or something. I, have, I don't know what women looking for. Um, but you know what I mean? Um, she, she just wanted to live a normal life. and I think my wife, she said uh, maybe she should get more tattoos on her so she can stand out as not being such a little person not not being a little person but looking like a little person because every time she go to bars and everywhere like even kids want to play with her and stuff and she nice about that she you know she nice she play with the kids she said she color with them and stuff she go to bars she can't they got to keep carting her everywhere she go i think um i mean it's only right too if i see some hey man what that little bitch here doing but um i think like my wife said she should get this he's, tatted up full sleeves and stuff like at least up to her neck all the way up so when you first see her you'll be like oh yeah that can't be no child maybe that takes some of the take some of it off of them she's got a lot of pain she got a lot of pain behind her eyes man when i see her and uh, she's making doing the makeup and stuff and it's like i don't know man i just want just kind of like just want to protect her because you know these evils are out here man um and right after that show went off another show came on um, the world's smallest woman. This is Joy T Joy T and she got so much life behind her eyes, man. She just like if they can get together and just p have conversations and stuff, maybe she'll feel different about being that same size because this is the world's smallest woman and she has got so much energy. She is full of life. She is ready to party, man. She she be partying, she be bowling partying, she be doing everything, man. So I think her you know and um I am Shauna Ray. Well, that's her name, Shauna Ray. Not I am Shauna Ray, but Shauna Ray. They should just hook up and chill, man. Maybe they can smoke. <laughs> I just think this, wow, man, she's smoking. Overall, I think it's a dope show. I think um, I can't wait to see what else going to happen on there because it's, they got a whole season of debauchery and madness is going to happen. I just want to see what's going to go old, man. What if they, they had no complaints about it? You know, I feel her pain and... I'm glad that she did, She got that mom and daddy and sisters around her. But the only thing I didn't like is I didn't think that house was capable of her, you know, having her in there, man. They don't got no ladders, no step stools, no nothing. They got like a regular, regular house, and they not catering to her, you know, disability. So her mom and daddy, I need to go out and get some more stews, man, because... I can see her struggling with that chip. I mean, maybe they, they're making her feel like a regular person. I don't know. That's the that's the move. But she needs some um. She needs some help, man. But y'all send y'all y'all love to her, man. Y'all y'all if she got any social medias or anything like that, go out there and support her, man. Don't try to be no weirdo though, man. Don't try to don't try to hit her on the nothing, man. She a grown woman. She want to be out here in these streets. She want to chill. She want to love and all that stuff. But she got to be protected too, man. So, like I said, her mom and daddy, keep doing y'all thing, man. Because don't let her grow up too fast. I got kids. That's why I'm, I'm, I am I feel that way, man. Like, she need to be protected. Um, I am Shauna Ray. I just had to re revisit it, man, because I seen it. And I, like I said, I ain't want to be insensitive to her by saying, man, like, you a weirdo if you try to talk to her. But they are. They are. They are weirdos and they try to talk to her for the simple fact that she's of that stature. But if, you know, y'all, like, I think she just need to be around a group of people and maybe somebody can fall in love with her. I don't know, man. I do not know. Anyway, we definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel. So I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday conversating about stuff just like this. Come through and highlight your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.